This is not a typical sight in Brazil. Kids here are more likely to be running after a ball than trying to hit it with a club. These free lessons are part of a drive by Sao Paulo's Go Federation to popularize a sport that for now has only limited appeal among the country's elite. Unfortunately, I have to agree that this is an elite sport, but there are programs and projects that are trying to change this, but right now we can't go against this fact. Most people can't access it. The kids don't have a big local star to look up to, but having two Brazilians playing the Olympics could be a start. Adilson da Silva and Miriam Nagel will represent the country. But locals won't be able to see some of the sport's best players, including number one ranked Australian Jason Day. He tops a list that includes Dustin Johnson, Jordan Spieth and Rory McIlroy, with most of the top four citing concerns over the Zika virus. It's uh, obviously a pretty big statement for me and, and my team to obviously pull from the Olympics and um, with the understanding of what's going on down there with regards to the Zika virus. The head of the IOC, Thomas Bach, says the absence of these players will weigh heavy in deciding whether to keep golf in the Olympics in future years. Brazilian enthusiasts still hope the return of golf to the Olympics the same year their country hosts the Games will help popularize the sport, though they say more needs to be done. To show the people that golf is open for everybody, make it cheap and easy and open the door. We, nowadays in Brazil, we don't have a door open to to people to start to play. The return of golf to the Olympics here in Brazil was reason for much excitement among the enthusiasts of the sport in this country. But the construction of the Olympic course caused much controversy. When the project was announced, environmentalists camped at the construction site and public prosecutors tried to stop it, saying it was unprotected land. But in the end, the courts allowed construction to continue. Mayor Eduardo Paes used old satellite pictures of the area to try to prove the land was degraded as far back as the 1980s. This is the land where the golf course was in the 1980s. This is the alleged environmental reserve that they said was destroyed. However, there are still concerns over who will benefit from the golf course other than the construction companies allowed to build residential towers next to it. For now, golf remains a sport for very few. It will be up to Brazil's next generation to decide if that changes. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.